So in this video we're going to take a look at creating our own method. So the first thing uh, I would suggest is pause the video right now and type in this code. And then once you unpause it, um, we're going to just follow along with me line by line and run this. So what you'll notice is just below our class we have two public variables. We have one called number one and another called number two. And like we covered in the last video, update runs every frame. What's completely new here is we have this new method that we created called void add two numbers. And at this point, just assume that anytime you create a method, you can give it whatever name you want. So for example, say we name this um, Alex for me, add two numbers. So again, this is another custom name and feel free to go ahead and edit this with your own name like Todd or whatever add two numbers let's make this lowercase for convention or uppercase is fine since it's a custom method so what I'm going to do here is let's look at this update function as we already know it runs every frame in here we have something called an if statement we haven't covered if statements yet but all you need to know is the, w the way an if statement is structured is it looks like this. We're pretty much just reading it off. If this condition is true, so whatever we put inside of here is called are called parameters, and it's also called a condition. So if we look at this, we say if, and we can pretty much read this. Input, what we're talking about here is some sort of keyboard input that get key up, and this is a pre-made method just like update or whatever that's given to us and don't worry these things will become second nature to the more we script them so if we press a key and once we release it and the key is up we want to do something which key are we going to press well if you type in key code and we put dot here you'll notice that you'll see there's an a here and as we cycle down you'll notice there's a delete key dollar sign e and f10 f11 so it pretty much is any key on the keyboard. We're going to go with return. So when I press the return key, what the if statement does is it calls the very next line of code. So if I press the return key, it's going to call a method called add two numbers. So you could think about it as jumping around your program. So once I press this, it's going to jump directly to a method called add two numbers. Right now, it's going to give me an error because there is no add two numbers method. There's an Alex add two numbers. So let's go ahead and edit this with whatever you named yours, or if you named yours Alex add two numbers. And now you could see they're linked because it made both deep blue. So now let's go ahead and hit Control S and jump back into Unity. There's actually an, a slight error in my code that I'm noticing really quickly. We want to make this lowercase void. So let's go ahead and hit Control S to save it. And now let's jump back into Unity. What you'll notice as we enter Unity, we have now two public variables, num1, which equals 2, and num2, which equals 3. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. What you'll notice is in our console, nothing happens. But when I hit the Enter key, you can see it added the two numbers together. And if I go to Window, open up my console, and I press Enter again, you'll notice it continuously updates. You can see I have now five three times. So let's take a look at another block of code. Um, I would again pause the video, go ahead and type this out, and double check the code you're writing, and then unpause it. And um, I'll explain, I'll begin to explain what this code does. So, what you'll notice at the top that we have our three public variables that'll show up in our browser or in our interface. If you go in the start function, we got rid of our update because we want our start uh, function or method to run only once. We have a variable here called answer. And it's currently storing whatever the result is of Alex add two numbers method. So, but what you'll notice that's completely different here is we actually have three, our three variables here, those names, inside of the parameters. So let's space these out a little bit. So what happens is we're actually calling our method from within uh, this variable. So let's go ahead and jump to 
the add two numbers method, the Alex add two numbers method, and it actually should be changed to three um, to make with good programming. But let's just assume right now that that's correct. So what happens is these numbers are all synced up. Okay, so number one is currently holding two, number two is currently holding three, and number three is currently holding four. Now these are purposely named first number, second number, third number because we want it to um, we we want our our first number, second number, and third numbers to be passed. Uh, we want these are three brand new variables, so they're actually getting synced up. We can't actually just plug in number one, number two, number three inside of here. We have to sort of create new variables. So there's an error here. In this integer result, number one, number two, number three, we actually want it to say first number, second number, third number. So what happens now is we're going to add two, three, and four here in the add numbers um, method. And then by writing return result, we're going to return this result variable back up into here back into where it says Alex add two numbers. And then we're going to call another method, so we're sort of jumping around code here, called display result that has answer in it. And when we jump to display result, you can see that we have another variable that's inside of here called total. So answer currently holds 9, which is 4 plus 3 plus 2. And then we're going to uh, print that out to the screen. It says debug.log, the grand total is and then by writing a plus here with the variable name total, we're gonna it adds whatever this stored inside this variable to this comment. So let's go ahead and press play and see how that looks. And you can see that it spits out the grand total is nine. 